let's see. What should we pick here? <laughs> yeah, detergent. So cover one nose. I'm not going to spray you. Stretch and spray. Yeah, and then cover the other nose. And is it equal? Can you smell? Okay. So pick whatever you want to pick. Uh, cranial, cranial nerve two. So you're going to look forward, look into my eyes. Okay. And so this is the visual field. Let me know when you start seeing it. I can see it. Yeah. I can see it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Go from here. There. Okay. No, keep looking uh, at me. <laughs> That's why you can see it the whole time. There. Okay. So you're looking for equal distance. So she's she's pretty good. So for cranial nerve three. What was it? Three, four, and uh, six. Uh, so so let's start, yeah. no, look at my finger. No, nope, but keep oh. straight ahead. <laughs> okay, so yeah, just follow my finger. Okay, follow my finger. Good. So we're just looking that her eyes are going equal. Then they're going to come and that they converge. Good. Okay. So that's three, four, and five. Now for the sensory part of three, you're going to cover one eye for me. And you're just looking at the pupil, so now go ahead and uncover it for me. Okay, so go ahead and cover it. So when she covers it, her pupil should dilate normally. And when she uncovers it, it should constrict. And same thing here. When she covers, it dilates. Stop, stop. Okay, good. Uh, three, and then we need a sharp object for trigeminal. Here, uh, I'm going to start at the forehead, just let you know if you feel any decreased sensation. It's okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think I said the zygomatic, I think it, it's the nose. So start midline nose and then go up the nose. You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any problem there? No? And then the mandible. Okay? So that's cranial nerve five. Cranial nerve seven. Go ahead and smile for me. Show me your teeth. <laughs> Pucker your lips. <laughs> Frown for me. <laughs> so great, <laughs> great model. So cranial nerve eight. So let me know when you start to hear. Yeah. Okay. And. So that's the cochlear portion. Now the vestibular portion. What you're going to do is stabilize the occiput and forehead. So you want to stay, keep her nice and straight. And you're just going to move her back and forth. You're doing okay. Mm -hmm. you know, if you're feeling symptoms, you can rock her forward, kind of going around. So just trying to really make sure she doesn't have any cervical movement. And if that doesn't provoke anything, then have her close her eyes and you go through the same process. Start slowly and then increase it in vigor. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So that's cranial nerve 8. Cranial nerve 9 is glossopharyngeal. We don't test the gag reflex. So we skip on to cranial nerve number 10, vagus. So go ahead and stick your tongue out for me. Open your mouth wide and say, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh, say it again. Ah. Uh. There we go. Okay, good. <laughs> cranial nerve 11. Traps, spinal accessory, hold up there, don't let me push, don't let me pull. Okay, good. Okay. And then stick your tongue out again there. Okay, good. That's it.